I've had people complain, uh, or at least I've been told. I don't read the comments, but they, they, that I use that I pause too much. And I go, um, hmm, those type things, mm-hmm. and it started to throw me off because you were in your head about it. Because I was thinking about it, and finally I just had to screw it. I'm just going to talk how I talk, and if that, you know, yeah, if, if people don't work. like it, that's fine. Yeah. So you heard it here first. Uh, he doesn't care about your opinions. He doesn't read your comments. <laughs> No, uh, hey, you know what? People have their, they have a right to their opinion and, you know, uh, it's not, as I like to say, it's not going to change my view of the lake one way or another. You know, I'm, I'm happy and content in life. If you don't like something I say, you disagree, or you think that I'm stupid, you know what? There's certain things I am stupid on. Yeah, well, and and but that there's things you're not. So let's let's pull into the video now. Right. Um, do official intros. So we're here uh, once again. My name is Zach. I'm joined by your favorite technician, Billy Williams. We're here answering all your diesel questions, knocking them down one at a time. Um, let's see. Recently, we had a conversation with Jerome, and he was driving a seven three Ford Power Stroke. And having my notes, it said he needed assistance with the wiring on the pigtail for the valve cover gasket. Yeah, Jerome uh, uh, bought a uh, a master kit uh, from uh, Diesel Care, one of our more popular selling items. Uh, we, you know, surprisingly, to be such an old truck, we still sell a ton of parts for them. And um, but uh, he was doing it right. He was changing out not only the valve cover gaskets, but the pigtail harness, the external pigtail harness. Mm -hmm. And he got a little bit in over his head and, um, he reached out to Ford trying to get some help from them. And, and so he, he, he finally got in touch with us and, and, uh, I think we come up with a good solution for him. Um, and, uh, so, you know, it, it yeah, the, the, the nature of the problem was interesting to me. Uh, in the call, he mentioned that Ford, uh, their color coded wiring, which to me seems like a fairly intuitive idea. Um, uh, they, they started off doing a color coded pigtail wiring that helped with the assembly, but then they changed to a non color coded. Yeah. You know, the, the thing in the parts business and, um, this will, this will draw a lot of comments from, from parts guys across the country. So, um, I'm prepared for that. You know, they're, they're required by law to carry parts for 11 years from mm-hmm. the manufacturing date, and uh, unless that's changed. But uh, it used to be that was the law. Right. And then what they do after that 11 year, they'll, they'll, have, they'll produce a ton of parts on the front end that's used in the factories and, and it stocks the shelves and dealerships and all the stuff. And then as the parts run out, they'll do that final big production run mm-hmm. uh, unless there's a, a, enough of a volume to, to sustain yeah, to continue warrant production. continued production. Yeah, but when they get to that point, and then they say, "Tech with it, we're done producing this. We're going to produce the next generation of parts." Mm. Then they sub those parts out to factories in Argentina, in Italy, in China. Oh man! And um, some comments on that one for sure. And he, this was an example where he got what's essentially an aftermarket pigtail yeah, and which does not come color coded. And, um, so we, we had to, to, to come uh, up with another way to, yeah, it's pretty simple. You know, it, it's, uh, it's positional wiring and mechanics out there, you know, they know what I'm talking about, but, uh, it's, it's, we basically kind of went over what to do. And then, um, I went ahead and, um, got his VIN code to send him a wiring diagram because he was trying, he had done this job previously and he thought he got something cross wired. So this was an example again of, you know, customers reach out. If we've got the information, you know, hand it over, we're yeah. going to hand it over to you and, and uh, hopefully we'll be there for the next time you need parts. Yeah. So let's take a look at the call. Hello, uh, Jerome, please. This, this is he. Hey, Mr. My name is Billy Williams. I work in the tech department of diesel care. Yes, sir. And I was asked to give hey, you, uh, give you a call. Yeah, go, uh, yes, sir. Um, I was actually, the, I mean, I, I'm, I'm the first time doing it, doing the injectors and all on my own. And, uh, I mean, I figured if anybody can do it, I, I might be able to swing it, but 
the wiring the the wiring on the pigtail that comes with the with the valve cover um, yeah. on the two thousand was the um seven three yes sir it's the um pigtail I mean none none of the colors match up to the stock I mean do I just do wire for wire the way it comes out of the um the way it comes off the other pigtail yeah what you what you want to do is is this is positional wiring now understand that plug. Um, only goes in one way. So you're, yeah, you, yeah, know, you you have to, I have had people wire it backwards because they, they just start at the last position and do it first. But, but positionally, what you want to do is, um, match the wires up position to position and then, um, you know, splice them together. I prefer if you have some, um, what's called butt in connectors that, uh, uh, shrink with heat. Yes, those, those are kind of the best. Um, well, it, it came with those. It came with um, the heat shrink, um, the red heat shrink connector. Okay, good, good. I wasn't sure if they still included those. They used to a long time ago, but I've had a couple of customers say they, they didn't get them or they wasn't in the package. But, yeah, if you I, have those, just, use those. Yeah, I just want to make sure just whenever it comes off the – when it, when it comes off the plug, it goes wire for wire like that? goes wire for wire. You're not really concerned with the color. It's all about position. And, okay. And um, – and from there, you know, like I said, you, you, um, just wire them together. You know, if you, you know, if you're good with soldering, you know, you put a little solder there. If not, you know, generally you can make Man, a pretty it, good connection. I don't know if you ever dealt with them forward. You, that, that, that wire harness is tight on, especially on the driver's side, passenger side, there's plenty of room. You can get up in there, but, um, driver's side is tight, tight. Yeah. I, uh, I'm a big old boy and I'll tell you, uh, I learned real quick to let those little guys get up in there. And do that. Yes, sir. I, yes, sir. I'm about six, five, two ninety five. So I know, I know what you're talking about. I, well, I, I wish I had your height. I'm, I'm three eighteen and, and a little bit over six foot. So I, I need to lose some weight anyway, but <laughs> you and me both brother, but I'm, I'm, um, I've got, I just, that, go ahead. Well, I've just gotten old enough. I don't care. <laughs> uh, well, I, I'm almost to that point, but I mean, I, I still like taking my shirt off when I go out in the water, but uh, I, I go out in the boat a bunch. But uh, I, I'm getting to the point where I really don't. If they, they either love me or they hate me. There you go. There you go. Well, yeah, just positionally do that, um, and um, you know, try to keep the you know the same amount of wiring. You know, um, you, not not that it really matters, but according to the you know all the tech bulletins and everything, just just uh, wired up positionally, and you should be good to go. I just want to make sure because I I I got I started overthinking everything. I'm I'm figured because the way it come off the plug, it ought to go back into plug the same way. So I'm, I'm just uh, I just started overthinking things and two you know the colors wasn't matching, nothing was matching on it. And I was like, well, and then I called the I, honestly I called the Ford dealership, started talking to him that the wiring harness all together was obsolete. They don't you'd have to go find somebody that actually has one. But he, he said they sell the pigtails also. And I said, well, are they color coded? And he, and he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're color coded to the match factory specs. And then I'm like, okay. I said, do you have them? He goes, well, he goes, yeah. And then he goes, I lied to you. He goes, every wire on this plug is black. Right. So even from Ford, it's, they're not color coded by, by any means. So I guess, like I said, um, wire for wire, just coming off the pig too. Yeah, that's um, um, Ford couple two. Well, it's probably been longer than that. But yeah, they, they came out with that, you know, that plug that you had to wire positionally because the, the, so much of the wiring has been, um, I mean, that truck's, you know, kind of old and chances are, yeah. you know, you've had stuff spliced here and there. So, um, honestly, I, I the knock on wood. I've got 365,000 miles. I've never put an injector or a glow plug in it till just, just when I ordered it. And I've never, the only, I've never replaced any wiring in it, man. That's incredible. Uh, yeah. So, but whenever I started pulling, I was the injector. When I, I had one injector go was started them kicking on me, and I so I, I'm sitting there and I'm started pulling on them plugs. Well, the the casing around them plugs started getting a little frayed, yeah. and evidently I was having a couple, uh, you know, having two injectors fire at one time or something. You know, it sparking the other. And I, it started running rough as hell, and I'm hoping that the all this will settle everything out, but. Yeah, it, it but, should. I mean, if, if but if not, this is my this is my cell number. You can call me back. Uh, that's okay. You know, so um, uh, of course, if you get a busy signal, just leave a message or whatever. But yeah, uh, uh, I think you'll be fine. Just wiring it positionally, and if you have any other questions, give us a call. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for calling me back. All right, thanks a lot. Now, 
Thank you, sir. Mm, bye. All right. Bye-bye. So positional wiring, huh? Positional wiring, yeah. And it's, you know, wiring has gotten so much more complicated. Really? And, and, and guys out there in their 50s and 60s who's been pulling wrenches their whole life, they know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. You know, used to be when you talked about wiring, you were talking about the distributor cap and eight plug wires. Mm-hmm. And that was it. You know, maybe a headlight switch. Honestly, that goes right over my head. Well, but. that's 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 why you're good at computers. Um, <laughs> yeah. But honest to God, but I it's mean, gotten more complex over the years. There's probably a hundred feet of wiring under the under the hood of most cars these days, mm. and you you need an electrical engineering degree to understand it. Yeah, um, or at the very least, in Jerome's case, a wiring diagram. Exactly, and and I think in this case he'll get it fixed. Um, he seemed pretty competent, um, but you know it it just goes to to kind of prove the point that information is the difference between a good repair and and a horrible repair yeah just taking like five to ten minutes and reading something or watching a video i mean we're in the age of information you have unlimited resources when it comes to figuring out what you want to do so why not take the time before you start working on your truck to make sure you have it right you know exactly exactly so we're advocates of getting it right once again my name is zach He's Billy. If you have questions about your diesel, call in at 1-800-961-9290. Anything else you want to say to the folks out there? Uh, just again, thank you for your continued support. Uh, uh, and I'm going to be here as long as you guys are clicking the buttons. All right. Keep clicking them buttons. We'll see you. Bye. Yes, I'm built out and bound to go. I'm going to leave, leave here running. Because walking is most too slow. All right, back to one.